Great morning, book lovers. It's Malia. We're gonna do something a little bit different because I got an ebook by Ali Caparo of The Descendant. So happy launch day! It's March 29th. You can now buy The Descendant on Amazon for only 99 cents. What I loved is that she started off the book with acknowledgments. Acknowledgments are one of my favorite part of the book because at the end, and it helps you feel more satisfied. And you can watch that video. But when you start off a book with acknowledgments, it just shows how grateful you are. And I just love how. Ali was just overwhelmed with joy of one, accomplishing her goal, and two, having all these people help her to create this amazing book. Ali started and finished this book during NaNoWriMo. Have you guys ever started a novel during in November or did you want to? Click there, yes or no. I would love to see if you guys had started a novel in NaNoWriMo. Thank you, Wishful Thinking, for coming up with this great idea to start having questions in the review so that it could help keep me on pace. I love it. Thank you so much. And you can find her channel right here. Overall, I actually gave this book five stars because of the strong moral encompass. It is very short. Zemaleks are evil, evil creatures and they feed on human fear. Their whole entire civilization has no form of empathy. Then we meet Ava, our protagonist, and she's a journalist and she desires to have a family because she didn't really know her parents and she was raised by her storytelling aunt who would tell her all these crazy stories growing up. She thinks she's finally found her family by marrying Barry and entering his but she has her doubts. Then we meet Chloe, her bubbly best friend, who's just completely gorgeous, and she has a really easy knack on seducing men, but she has a hard time keeping them. So as Ava and Chloe are hanging out, Ava discloses to Chloe how about she has her doubts on Barry of that he's actually the one. After their encounter, Ava goes home and then she starts meditating and she gets into a really relaxed state and so she ends up dreaming. And in this dream, she sees Chloe and Chloe introduces this man named Meldrick, who's very handsome to Ava. Meldrick tells Ava in this dream that he's from a Laplace civilization. They look just like humans, except they have these crazy powers that humans have yet to develop. And he also tells her that it's been his sole responsibility to take care of her and watch over her. And Ava feels very special about that. And in the dream, Meldrick and Ava touch hands and she feels overwhelmed with joy. And then she wakes up and what's the first thing that you would do? She talked to Chloe and Chloe was just like, hey, she just dismissed that and said, hey, why are you dreaming about really cute men? You should be thinking about your wedding and this is just bright to be jitters, don't even worry about it. So Ava's still really curious to see what is this Laplace civilization? It must have something to do, it just seems so real to me. So Ava goes back home, gets into a meditative state and then she feels so relaxed that she falls asleep again. And what happens? Another dream. And yet again, Chloe's there with Meldrick. And this time, Meldrick tells her that she is very special. In the back of her mind, she possesses a power that many civilizations have been dying to get a hold of. And so that kind of gets her really unnerved. And that is just the first chapter. So many other things happened and I actually really enjoyed this book. I started this book as soon as I was done with Slay That series and this book was exactly what I needed for that point in time. I actually took notes on some of the points in this book because I feel like it had a really strong moral underlining and that's what I really enjoyed. Yes, it had so many action. It was science fiction, fantasy. Uh, they had some romance of course, but I just thought that the moral of the story and the heart of the story was just so strong and I learned a lot from that. Let me know in the comments if you have read this book before or if you would like to. So happy launch day to everybody and I am just so thankful to be part of this great team and I can't wait to read the beginning because The Descendant was really, really good. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy every moment.